Hello everyone, this is Elaj Balde, and I'm here with my friend, Joanny Rochette. <laughs> um, we're just going to have a little conversation about this event uh, because we are super excited to be here and this is always such an incredible venue for us as skaters and we ha all have um, you know, great memories about this. So um, tell us a little bit about this event. Like, what, do you, you know, what do you like about this event? What, what brought you, what gave you the energy to come here and, you know, and want to perform? Well, I think as a skater, to be a Skate Canada, it's an early competition in the season, so it's a chance to showcase your programs uh, and see uh, how you're doing compared to the other skaters internationally. But it's also great to be at home and get that extra uh, su support from the crowd, because even though Canadian fans are very fair, they love all the skaters, they have a small bias for Canadians, and Absolutely. it's always great to be home. And especially this is the first event in this venue in Laval, in Place Belle. It's beautiful. Um, yeah. So yeah, I'm really excited to just be here and watch and not be nervous. Yeah, Even yeah. though when I got my, I don't know if it was the same for yes. you, I got my accreditation and, and like, I got nervous. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely, I felt the same thing too. And it's so, for me, it's the first time that I'm back here as a non-competitor. Mm -hmm. And so this is such a different environment, but I'm, um, I'm excited to be here and I think it's fun. And it's, it is cool to be here without the stress of the competition. But I will say that I will miss though, being on the ice in practice and you know, feeling the energy of all the skaters. Um, so I wanted to know, because we were talking earlier about, you know, fulfillment and skating, you know, for, for different reasons than like results and stuff like that. And so I wanted to know, how do you, how did you translate that mindset into your new life that you're into now, you know, because, you know, now you're, you know, you're studying to be, to be a doctor. And so how do you, how do you bring that perspective into, into this new thing that you're doing right now? Well, School and skating are two totally different, different things, yeah. but uh, I think the discipline that we have from skating, training every day, yeah. even when we don't feel like it, yeah. that gives you the, a right model for, for school, for med school especially. Yeah. But I do miss it. I miss the crowd. I miss uh, the applaud. I, yeah. I miss yeah. the encouragement. And as a doctor or any other job in the world, you won't get people to applaud you when you do something <laughs> yeah. good. So yeah. I do exactly. miss it. But for you, it must be a little bit different because you just finished your career, yeah. so you still know everybody that's yeah. out there. For me, I feel so old, it's been eight <laughs> years, so how does it feel for you, like, knowing all these people? Honestly, for me, honestly, and I walked in and the first people I saw were like, all my friends. You know, people <laughs> that I literally competed with the day before, so I think for me, it's a, it's a cool opportunity to be here and enjoy the friendships without having to think about all the competition. So I think there's definitely uh, a spot that I have in my heart of, you know, being here and being with all of my people and being able to watch the competition and enjoy the competition and be a, a fan, you know, because we love skating and I'm a fan of skating. And so I think being here with this situation is definitely something that I'm uh, super incredibly happy to be about, you know. And you'll still be able to have the best of both worlds because exactly. you'll be skating, you'll be performing in the gala. Yes, so that'll yes. be great. Yes, I will be, in case you guys didn't know. Um, I'll be in the gala and uh, I'll be also choreographing the finale number, which is going to be cool. So I'll be out there, I'll be skating in front of the fans again, and um, I'm super excited about that. And talking about, you know, performing in front of those fans, what is your favorite memory of, uh, of this event? I think it's my second year at Skate Canada when I had a near perfect performance and it was just the perfect moment at the right place mm -hmm. and the crowd was giving me a standing ovation and it was the first one of the first one I ever got. Mm -hmm. uh, so you, you never forget that moment when you're just so proud of yourself and then you look up and everyone is standing up. It's such the a powerful here. moment and just want to put it in a small bottle and keep it for later and just open a little bit of it when you when you need. Um, yeah, yeah, but yeah, I think yeah. I think Sikana is great because you see all your friends and you kind of welcome the world at home. Uh, especially in Quebec, it's kind of nice because you have the French culture and exactly. it's kind of nice to to see um, all your friends in a home setting and you have some sort of a home advantage a little bit too. Yeah, absolutely. En parlant justement de la culture française, um, on est ici à Montréal, à Laval. Mm -hmm. euh, je pense que c'est une des premières fois qu'un événement comme ça vient euh, ici à, à, au Québec. Avoir une patinoire comme ça, moi je pense que c'est quelque chose qui est absolument incroyable. J'aurais aimé, honnêtement, j'aurais aimé être un compétiteur ici, ah ouais? être à Montréal. Ouais, être à Montréal, être devant euh, ma ville. J'ai jamais vraiment fait une grosse compétition à Montréal. Donc moi je pense que ça aurait été quelque chose que j'aurais vraiment aimé euh, vivre. Et je me demande toi, est-ce que c'est quelque chose que tu aurais aimé 
vivre et être ici à Montréal et performer dans une, dans une compétition comme ça? Mais c'est sûr, mais au début de ma carrière, non, ça me stressait ouais. beaucoup parce que oui, c'est un avantage, mais en même temps, tu as la pression, tu as tous tes amis, tu as tes fans, tes, tes amis d'école qui viennent t'encourager. Ouais. Alors, tu as, as une pression additionnelle, mais un peu plus tard dans ma carrière, j'ai appris à utiliser la foule, utiliser cette énergie-là. Puis je pense que quand tu as une bonne performance devant tes, tes partisans, c'est doublement euh, gratifiant, c'est un, euh, un beau feeling. J'ai eu la chance de faire une compétition à Québec dans le temps, euh, donc c'était un peu le, la même chose, mais j'avais plein de collègues d'entraînement qui venaient en autobus, puis c'était un peu stressant, mais ça s'était bien passé. Euh, sinon, on a fait des spectacles au Québec, mais c'est vrai, on n'a pas beaucoup de compétitions ici, donc c'est le fun de, de, de partager notre culture francophone avec tous les patineurs internationaux. Absolument. Ben, Joanie, euh, je te remercie énormément d'être euh, ici, d'être euh, l'ambassadrice des athlètes. Euh, je pense que c'est super et tu nous représentes euh, extrêmement bien. Donc, euh, merci pour tout et puis euh, on, va se voir, euh, on va se voir bientôt. Et bonne chance aussi merci, pour ta là. carrière. Ben oui, bonne chance ouais. pour la gala, toi. Ouais, ben tu merci. Es là. Ben oui, justement. <rire> je vais aller mettre mes patins, je vais aller patiner avec euh, les filles qui sont là ah, sur non, la non, glace. Non, 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 c'est bon. <rire> so, uh, thank you very much and uh, we'll see you later.